You know, I just got done with my weekly review of uh, Charlotte County Facebook, uh, uh, share Facebook page, and then I click over to the Puerto Gorda Police Department Facebook page, and that is full of indoctrination, propaganda, disgusting as... Oh, my God. Uh, Punta Gorda, as some of you know, is in Charlotte County. This is a guy where uh, this this guy right here, uh, the police chief, uh, let one of his uh, guys, Lee Cole, dog mauled somebody for no light on his bicycle. And then after that, he didn't fire him. And then that guy went on to uh, execute a lady in a uh, wannabe uh, cop class where they played good guy, bad guy. They used a real gun and didn't check to make sure it had blanks, but... Wow. Um, and there again, like I said, the micromanagement of your life. Jesus Christ, lock your doors, lock your keys. Uh, more more propaganda indoctrination. Look at this. Police chief right here. The, these, the schools in our area are like mini freaking police camps. It's unreal. They have tons of cops there. They literally have fences with barbed wire all the way around. You, it is indoctrination to the max. And look at this, to talk about your future. Tell the police chief, who, who by the way, the, the department is so corrupt, he should be in prison for uh, negligent homicide. And yet he's in school talking to some little girl, trying to do his propaganda, saying, please don't fire me and put me in prison for negligent homicide, which I need and, and I should be charged. Oh, God. Wow. Disgusting more uh, propaganda indoctrination leadership class Charlotte County uh, look at all the neat things we do please don't fire me he makes a hundred grand doing what he do doing what he does does even though he like I said he let Lee Cole uh, dog maul a guy for no light on his bicycle I said bicycle bicycle that's illegal no light and if you don't have a light a dog will maul you for two minutes and one whole side of your body will be uh, messed up isn't it great? Um, oh, man, more indoctrinated. Hey, you too can join their uh, Twitter feed and, and get propaganda indoctrination like every other freaking second, like on their Facebook page here. Uh, not. And there again, like I told you guys, you, you know, you got to go to their Facebook pages and show them not everybody's a freaking military police state bootlicker. You have to show them there is dissent. You are sick of it. This is not America. By the way, this is another Facebook page which I am banned from because apparently we're not in America. This is a government-ran page. This should be free speech, and the free speech is not there. Uh, so that's another one. You can go here and say, what the fuck? Uh, this one is kind of legit right here. Uh, uh, they need to talk to this guy. Uh, coffee with the chief. Uh this is one thing which you some of you people have seen. We've been going to these meetings and starting to ask questions, but apparently they don't like that because, uh, as you see, that's 9.30 a.m. That's when regular people can't go. That's when all the retired uh, cops, sheriffs, NSA, military, FBI, we're full of them down here. Uh, anyways, that's where they go, and they're, everybody's, I mean, the, boot, the floor is wet with bootlicking by the time the meeting is done. It's disgusting. He won't do a meeting later at night. He was doing an outreach to the black community, and guess what? <coughs> Hardly anybody in the black community was coming out because they don't trust this out-of-control This is another out-of-control military police state guy. doesn't believe he have any rights. Wow. Um, talking about football on their page. Uh, and then, like I said, the micromanagement. Lock your doors, lock your keys. How about stand up for the Constitution and get rid of this tyranny here with the Punta Gorda Police Department? Arrest Lee Cole and to Chief Tom Lewis for negligent homicide, man. Jesus. They let that psycho execute an old lady. Come on. Uh, this is legit. There's some uh, guy that stole crap at Walmart. Fine, that's legit. Like I said, 10% of what they do is legit. 90% is not. Being a road pirate, busting people for victimless crimes... That's not legit. America, uh, our founding fathers did not fight for this. So here's, this is 90% bootlickers. Like I said, you can see all the gray hair. That's what I was talking about. All retired ex, and they're bootlickers. And you, what really sucks is you have to think about, this is co morning coffee with the chief. And by the way, they're starting to do it at other places other than the uh, police chief's place. And here's my theory why they're doing it. Uh, like this is the bank that let them have a meeting here. My theory is because since it's in a, not in a public place, we can't record. 
it is unbelievable. He is against recording. Uh, if you're in a public place, he has no choice. We know we've recorded. We've done it three times now. The videos are insane. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, look at... So this is the part that pisses me off. All these old pricks had freedom, less taxes, made good money, uh, had less laws, less military police state. And now us younger people, I'm 51, we're screwed. They got they got everything that they wanted and basically they're saying F you to, to us younger people. They want a freaking military police state to keep getting what they got, but we're not going to get it. But as long as they get it, that's fine. As you know, Who cares if the young people get F'd over? Um, and like I said, micromanager, lock your keys, you know, like I said, you, you micromanage it, like I said, to fund this freaking out of control, uh, um, department, uh, Super Bowl, that's stupid, that's just to say, hey, we're like you, no, you're not, you screw people over every day, um, uh, bank scams, that's kind of legit, that's fine, uh, frauds, uh, actually, like I said, I, I think uh, the Punta Gorda Police Department is a fraud, man. 90% of what they do is unconstitutional, period. Violating your rights every single freaking day. You are just product, period. You are not free. Everything is illegal. You have to support the police department, the courts, the jails, the bonds, people, probation. It's outrageous. Wake up, people. Look around. It is nuts. Uh, this is funny. They can't even run a 911 system. Wow, look at that. It was down. Hey, there you go. Uh, because you know, because you want to know what's more important than the 911 system is that they keep making their money, policing for profit. Uh, uh, somebody reported a scam. Okay, great. Uh, this is the bootlicking, like I said, that's going on here that's really disgusting. Look at these bootlicking idiots gave a bunch of crap to a bunch of people that F people over every day for unconstitutional crap. That is stupid. By the way, Katie Heck right here is another one that uh, the Punta Gorda Police Department has illegally looked me up because I run Cop Watch for years and Katie Heck is one of them. I have never been busted or pulled over by Punta Gorda Police Department and they are legally looking me up. That's a whole nother lawsuit in itself. Uh, if anybody knows a lawyer, get a hold of me. Um, uh, th and this is more in propaganda narcissism. On 15 years service, let's waste all this taxpayer money, all these people sitting here, to give him a award. Wow. For what? Effing people over? Uh, no, actually, maybe the award is for effing so many people over that you brought a ton of money into the, into the police, into the courts, into the jails, into probation. Wow. Sad. Um, this... Uh, frauds and scam. I I missed this one. I wish I would have went. And and here again, hey, my opinion: the police and the sheriff are fraud and scam. Ninety percent of what they do is a fraud and a scam. Our founding fathers would be rolling in their graves. Period. They would not put up with it. Our cops, our sheriffs have far surpassed what our founding fathers fought for uh, when they fought against the British tyranny. Um, Police officer testing, hey, if you too want to be a part of corruption, you can uh, get a job there. By the way, when you look into the testing, too, and the training to become a cop, it's like six months. To become a hairdresser, it's like one to two years. It's, what the fudge is up with that? As long as, what, you're stupid and uh, you don't care about the Constitution, you become a cop easily. And, by the way, too, not too smart. If you are too smart... They don't want you. You have to be a little bit dumb. I'm serious. Look up the articles. It's it's insane. Uh, award winners. Oh, employee recognition. There again, narcissism. Because they kind of keep telling themselves that, hey, we're doing great, man. And when they're really not, they're really screwing over a lot of people and a lot of people's families for their uh, policing for profit. It's really, really sad. Uh, this is legit sex offender. This is legit and this is not legit. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been reading nowadays. Almost anybody and everybody can be charged with the sex uh, sex offender thing. I know there's real ones out there. But when you get tagged with that now, your life is destroyed. I was literally at a customer's house when they had an automatic call come in saying, Yeah, there's somebody that lives uh, way down in Punta Gorda that's a sex offender now. In fact, it was this guy. And... Uh, so they literally robocall, email you and everything. Okay, this guy is here. He's a sex offender. So so anything they could, 
they can claim you're a sex offender on almost anything now. It's ridiculous. And they totally destroy your life. A lot of these people end up homeless because their life is completely destroyed. And a lot of times it's uh, on, on cause. And there again, like I was saying, the, the micromanagement. I, we're starting to wonder, if is this going to be the next law to come that you have to wear blinkers on yourself? They are almost literally saying this now. Look at this. Look at this. Make sure you wear bright clothes while you're outside. And it's like, wow. It's it, there again. It comes back to where you know what's what's going to be next. Are you going to put a posting here that says you know could you please wipe your ass this way to make sure you get all the shit off your butt? And if you don't, you're going to get a ticket. Come on. Uh, this is Urban Coyotes. Like I said, this is Katie Hack. She illegally looked me up on the David system. That that is a charge. And uh, by the way, you can do a FOIA request and say what is the reason if they do not respond, she should be punished. They're not punishing her. They are not responding. Uh, we're still looking for a lawyer on that one. Um, uh, fraud online. Okay, that's legit. Uh, more propaganda on a local talk show. Oh, look, we're good. Yeah, yeah, right. You just screwed over a bunch of people, man. You, it's policing for profit. And then, of course, here, this is where we end up. I'll end it here. Uh, this is where I went to the meeting, and I had all the uh, documents that proved they were legally looking me up for years. And in this meeting, when I confronted uh, Police Chief Tom Lewis with this, um, he slandered the piss out of me and said, yes, I am a bad person, I hate cops, I hate government, and I am under investigation, and he has told all of his uh, police people that, uh, I, you know, that I'm a bad person. I'm like, oh my God, could not believe it. Did a FOIA request, they asked, why am I under investigation? They have to tell you, they will not tell me. Uh, he said that they would tell me why all the people illegally looked me up for years there. Uh, they will not respond. It's just outrageous. And by the way, I, we do need cops. We do need sheriffs. We do need government. It's just like our founding father said, only a little bit. You are literally not supposed to see government. Literally. When we are really free, you are literally not supposed to see it. And I see it everywhere. It is out of control. Everything is illegal and you are not free. All new on Wink News at 6. The chief has been doing a PR campaign about, I'm open, I'm honest, anything you want to talk about. Well, he doesn't want to talk about these other incidents. Um, he didn't release these other incidents until you had to go digging through like a madman to find them. Wink News pushes to get memos from the Punta Gorda Police Department about Lee Cole, the cop who shot 73-year-old Mary Knowlton during a shoot, don't shoot citizens demonstration back in August. These are memos that have never been made public before. And tonight we'll tell you about the memo from an officer who trains other cops witnessing Lee Cole making what she basically calls a wrongful arrest. Wink News investigative reporter Dave Colbreth has the exclusive. This sort of stuff should be unacceptable in any law enforcement agency. He was a one-man wrecking crew in Punta Gorda, and, and nobody tried to stop him. Is he fabricating things? Is he making things up just to make the arrest? Three longtime Charlotte County attorneys, all who have also been prosecutors in their career, read this memo about an arrest made by Lee Cole, which the Punta Gorda police never released until Wink News spent a great deal of effort and hundreds of dollars. Just shows that the Punta Gorda Police Department was hiding this stuff. Every, every news agency in the country was asking for these type of documents. The memo really hit home for Steve Leskovich because it was about his client, Jacob Hill. You always hear about corruption, but then to actually read it and know that it happens to someone you know is actually quite disheartening. On June 23, 2015, Officer Bonnie Buckaloo sent this memo to the Punta Gorda Police Administrators. They knew roughly eight hours after this arrest. Buckaloo, along with another officer, came upon Lee Cole, who had pulled Hill over for driving the wrong way on this one-way street. First, Cole had his dog sniff around the vehicle for drugs, but it did not detect any. After that, Cole said that he was changing hats and now going to try for a DUI. He's fishing for something. Buckaloo also wrote that Cole did not ask any of the related DUI questions and that she did not observe anything that would indicate an impaired driver. Falling over, stumbling, no odor of alcohol, no bloodshot, watery eyes. None of that information is written anywhere in any of the reports.
Buckaloo summed it up by writing that Cole performed the requested sobriety exercises without any notable concerns and that he probably should not have been placed under arrest. It's shocking to read an officer's report that says another officer was seeking or finding a reason to make an arrest. Why is he even arrested? Apparently, that's also what people in the state attorney's office wondered because Wink News obtained these documents from them where a prosecutor writes, I do not see how there was enough for a DUI arrest. And if that's out, then there's no probable cause to search. I, I would bet a thousand bucks. The state attorney had no idea that there was another officer on scene who believes that this was a false arrest. So the state attorney's office started playing let's make a deal and said it would drop five of the seven charges, including two felonies and the DUI. DUI getting dropped almost never. I mean, it is a very, very rare circumstance. I can count on one hand how many times a DUI has been dismissed prior to charges being filed. This is one of them. When the state attorney's office offered to drop most of the charges, Jacob Hill pled to minor possession of weed and got out of jail immediately. He pled to those because he was in jail for 35 days and he needed to get out. Who's not going to take that? Wink News talked to Jacob Hill, who lost his driver's license for a whole year, his apartment, and his job. And now when he's looking for employment, what shows up on his background? A DUI. Who the heck's going to hire somebody with that kind of record? So, what did the Panagorda police do about this memo? It said it was successfully prosecuted with the means of a plea. And I have to tell you this. Any department that defines this as a successful prosecution, they should all resign. Without asking, the Punagorda police also gave us emails saying things like, Buckaloo seems to have an obvious dislike for Lee Cole, stating to other officers that she refuses to acknowledge him or back him up on traffic stops. She's one of their current own. She's part of the blue line. You don't cross it. She crossed it. Would he have taken that plea had you known about this email, this memo? Absolutely not. When I talked with Jacob Hill, he said he came down here because he's a roofer and needed to work year-round. Well, after all this, he said no one would hire him, so he had to go back to northern Minnesota, and he said, try making a living there doing roofing in the winter. When we asked the Punagorda police for an interview, we were told the chief will not be providing an interview on the memo you referenced. Continuing the public discussion of Officer Cole's work product prior to the conclusion of both FDLE's investigation and our own internal investigation is unfair and possibly improper on our end. That memo, as well as last night's story regarding those other memos, are on our website at winknews.com. Dave Colbert, Wink News Now. I think that that was a, a sign of just arrogance. I mean, you don't, you don't need to double and triple check yourself. You don't need to have other people double and triple check you. You, you. you don't have to have a procedure in place. You don't have to make sure. Like, all of those things just make me sick to my stomach. On August 9th, three dozen people watched as a Punagorda police officer shot and killed a woman during a Citizens Academy demonstration. Officer Lee Coles still on paid administrative leave after the death of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton. But could it have been prevented? Tonight, only Wink News has memos that were not in Coles' personnel file. After weeks of requests and hundreds of dollars spent, Punagorda police finally gave us those memos with allegations of bad arrests, insubordination, and policy violation. Wink News investigative reporter Dave Colbreth has the details. Nobody should be running around this town with a gun and a badge with, with these type of allegations against them. No self-respecting law enforcement agency that I've ever encountered should be tolerating this kind of behavior. Those are two longtime Charlotte County attorneys. Both of them were shocked when I showed them these memos obtained by Wink News after the Punagorda Police fought hard to prevent us from getting them. Just shows that the Punagorda Police Department was hiding this stuff. Every, every news agency in the country was asking for these type of documents. These new memos show Lee Cole's problems with the Punagorda Police. But Cole's problems started in his rookie year with the Miramar Police, where he was involved in two internal affairs investigations. This one, where he yanked a man out of the back of his cruiser. After just one year, Cole was forced to resign. 
He then applied for jobs at over two dozen police agencies near Miami. Wink News obtained Cole's application files from most of them who turned him down. So he then redirected his efforts to southwest Florida, where the only agency interested in him was Punta Gorda. It was a year after he left Miramar when Cole was hired by Punta Gorda. Miramar got it right. The other 25 police departments that refused to hire him got it right. Punta Gorda got it wrong. Cole's personnel file with the Punta Gorda police shows many positive things he's done. But then there's these newly obtained memos that were not in his personnel file. When you hire somebody that was uh, asked to resign from a different police force, they should be on thin ice. The first incident Wink News discovered is depicted in this memo. It was February 4th, 2015, when Cole accidentally discharged his taser at home. He was never disciplined. To have an officer um, not check his taser before he does a spark test, that is... Barney Fife stuff. On October 23rd, 2015, a supervisor, Thomas Keegan, wrote this memo saying Cole was insubordinate to him and questioned his authority. I think that him being insubordinate to um, his lieutenant is, seems to, to kind of go along with all of the other misconduct that he's alleged to have engaged in because, you know, each one of those is kind of him being arrogant. Then exactly one week later, Cole saw a man riding his bicycle at night without a light. The man wouldn't stop, so Cole sicked his dog on him. But Wink News has now learned from this email that there was what was called a community initiative in place, where officers were supposed to give warnings and free bicycle lights to people instead of arresting them. The Punta Gorda police ultimately settled with the man for $60,000 and over $120,000 worth of medical bills were written off by a hospital. The Punta Gorda police also hired an expert who determined that Cole did not do anything wrong. I don't care what they say, you know, him allowing that dog to rip the chest wall out of a man who was uh, driving without lights on a bicycle, that, that's insanity. The dog bite issue got attention around the world and Cole said he was receiving death threats. So he improperly accessed the state computer system to remove his name from public records. He got a slap on the wrist from Chief Tom Lewis who ironically illegally accessed the same system himself five years earlier and got suspended. As an attorney, I mean, the Florida bar would, would, be, would be smacking me around something fierce because you can't just engage in constant misconduct. He's got five or six incidents of serious misconduct. He's still a cop. We asked Punta Gorda police officials for an interview about this story, and we were told, quote, the chief will not be providing an interview on the memos you referenced. Continuing the public discussion of Officer Cole's work product prior to the conclusion of both FDLE's investigation and our own internal investigation is unfair and possibly improper on our end. Now, after all of that, that's not the most egregious things these attorneys say Lee Cole has done. That involved a wrongful arrest. We'll have that tomorrow night in part two of this story. Dave Colberth, Wink News Now.
these drugs and stuff like the German jails. They would have. We got seven. I'm a Canadian originally. We got seven but times you more. Your, will, you, will you do me a favor? What's that? If you want to record me, I have no problem. That. Right. Um, yeah. But this is not a public building. Uh, last time we were here, we already discussed it. Uh, they said we could. But there are other people here that may not know that you're recording that. Okay. Last time I was here, they asked. I asked if I could record. They said yes. I have no problem with it. Right. I believe the facility is probably in the same mindset as they yep. were last time. But just out of common courtesy, let people know they're being recorded, please. You're being recorded. Well, wait. Everybody's here. You have to let them know too. Are you running? Uh, he, he doesn't answer questions. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> you did. 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 He is pocket. No, but he was the lawyer for the guy that sold when I bought my house 18 years ago. Okay. Mom, stay here next to you, buddy. Yes. Thank you. Anyhow, it should be interesting. <laughs> Good. You from Fort Ponte Gordon? Oh, did you? Did you move in yet? So am I. Now, tell me you were Canadian. This is John Sirkan, this is Ian. This is the guy that's uh, doing all the filming, going for public records requests and stuff. Oh. They like him They like him so much, they trespass. <laughs> they do. I'm very popular. I, I, what, was the, what was the latest video on that? Looking for a trespass. Uh, Jim Mello. Oh, Jim Mello was trespassing from a real estate office for causing a disturbance in there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but the only record you got was 2015. That was the one? Yeah. Oh. So they were giving the other guy like a hard time about getting out of uh, the record, so you know, I had to go down there and straighten those things out with him. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tom, and by the way, we tried to get L.A. Daniels and the, and the black people to come today. I'm totally serious. Totally serious. I said, let's meet here and have a conversation. It's a shame. It is. So. Maybe next month. Can be same time, same place. The meeting's canceled. Yes, sir. Why? <laughs> we're 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 the, we're the community. Back from the Trady Woods community. We, we can't. Uh, we, we, we can't be a part of it. <laughs> He's not member of the Trady Woods community now. Oh my God! That's yeah, that's a good you point. <laughs> you got your number, you man. just told me it's a meeting. It's a meeting to discuss in the community, and now it's canceled. Yeah. Wow. But seriously, I really appreciate you, gentlemen. No, but you told me a few minutes ago it's here name? to discuss a community Pardon? discussion meeting, and now it's canceled. Meeting's canceled, yes, sir. Because so, I thought it was a community discussion meeting. That's what you told me a few minutes ago. Yeah, we're members community. of the community. We'd like to be heard. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming. When will uh, Cole uh, face <laughs> justice? <laughs> will Officer Cole ever face justice, Mr. Lewis? <laughs> That's a great point. Ask again. Will Officer Cole ever face justice, Chief Lewis? What about Officer... What, what about Tom Lewis? Lewis? Oh, what do you want to do? Go for coffee? This is, let's not waste the time. This is a I can't. I'm shocked too, man. He just told me that you're going to have a meeting, right? It's, and I says, "What is it about?" And he says, "It's just a community to discuss things in the community." Right. He did, wasn't specific on which community, though. Yeah. Yeah. That. Well, that's no, crazy. But he said community. Exactly. I says, "What is it?" You know about. And I says, well, that's great. That's what we should have. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it. Okay. Well, you know, once they've got their mind up. All right, so what do you want to do? Let's not waste this. You want to do coffee somewhere or what? Sure. Harry, oh, where's, the closest, just use this. where's the closest place for coffee? We could have just used this community center. We don't have to have anybody here. I, I can't. But, that's it. I can't figure out. This is a public place. Mm hmm why do you, you don't even need any kind of permission to write i don't understand that he all. he's supposedly saying i do have the right to film but i'm supposed to let everybody know uh don't believe that's true in florida <laughs> Got 
Gabby Trust Park. I'd like to find out what God they're talking about. That is true. What kind of trust is that? So Ian, let's, go, let's not waste it. Let's do coffee somewhere. So John, you want to do coffee somewhere then? Where's the closest? I hey, I'm shocked too. Totally shocked. I'm totally shocked, man. So what do you want? You want to follow us or? Yeah, I'll follow you. All right, we're down here. I'm in the white convertible. Okay, I'll follow you. So what do you want to go for coffee? Let's not waste it. Whatever you decide to go for coffee. I'm just easy to get out with, man. He just he just shut the meeting down. He said we're, we're not from the community, so he canceled it. <laughs> so let's let's not waste it. What you want to do? Let's do coffee somewhere. I'd give it about two or three minutes. These two just showed up for the meeting. I know. Well, now, now two black people just showed up from the community, so are they going to have a meeting? I know, that's, that's why he said, uh, maybe wait a minute. Oh, have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Are you here for the meeting? What? Are you here for the meeting? Hey, we got. I think we got a meeting, man. We got another one. Yep. The door. Okay, he still canceled it. All right, hey. All right, can I give you my card then? Hey, the, the reason why I'm, I showed up and the reason why he's freaking out, I, uh, I unfortunately experienced the corruption here myself. So three years ago, I started Charlotte County Cop Watch. I was the guy that was in the newspaper and all three channels where they illegally looked me up on the David system. Not to bring me followers, but to do bad things because I'm exposing the corruption here. So that's why I think he just, I'm shocked. He shut it down. So we, we need cops. You know we need cops. I know we need cops. Just we, we're trying to show people that we're here. You can hold them accountable. You can, you know, you can do different things. You know what I mean? Is there a way to give me my business card? All right. So, in three years, by the grace of God, I'm a Christian. Uh, the YouTube channel went nuts. 40 million views. 38,000 subscribers. Uh, in fact, I'll even give you my regular card. So I'm sorry that he did this. We're, we're, we seriously are here. We need police. But we're, you know, we're, we're just to, here to let you guys know that we're here if you ever have, you know, if you ever need any help, you know, investigate anything or if you need a story to put out because internal investigations won't do anything. Um, I, we were the ones that helped break the dog mall story. Uh, we're also the ones that did, uh, in Collier County, uh, Seven Shares beat the crap out of a white guy. He was in the hospital for three days. We broke that story. So, we, re we really are trying. Okay. We're trying to help. And sorry that it shut. We are shocked that he just killed it like this. Okay. So, what was your name? Reverend Brown. Reverend Howard. Please get a hold of me, man. Do you, do you guys got a card? I'm shocked. I really, really am. He, he, this, this guy right here, John Sirkin, he helps the uh, homeless over in Charlotte County. So he's going to let you guys know that he's here too, so he helps people there. In fact, you know what's crazy? He's the one that the guy that supposedly got away from the sheriff at the water and hung himself, that's the landlord. He knows the guy. This wouldn't have happened. Like the guy said, he knew the guy. He didn't hang himself. You know what I mean? 65? Say, hey, man. So, anyways, I'm sorry that it bombed out. Right. Oh, oh, are we filming?
Yeah, he was supposed to be. That's what I told him. So why don't you want to do that? Ellie Daniels. Do you not value our opinion? Alright. Is Officer Cole night. ever going to face justice, Mr. Lewis? Hmm. Why, who are you with? Just a regular person? That's fine. I don't answer questions. Yeah. I'm a regular person. Right. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I wanted you to meet David. Dick's friend. Okay. Andrew, who are you? A regular Andy. person? Cop, right? uh, no, I actually am. I'm You're not a regular person. Aye, aye, careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> Wait, hey, let's charge. not waste this. Let's do coffee. What's the closest thing to here for coffee? Here's my card. Because uh, Sir Can's here and everything. You didn't even get to meet him. He helps the homeless in Fort Charlotte. Oh, okay. How you doing? Hi. 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 How you doing? Okay, where's the closest place for coffee? Uh, See you later, man. I'm short meeting. Sorry, I need to get more time. Though. I'm not sure. Let's go over here and we'll all talk. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, John, we're going we're gonna to discuss over here what, what we're going to do. Like, be careful for those bike racks. You almost got it. <laughs>